So in today's video, let's talk interactive brokers. I get a lot of questions from people online, so I figured kind of answer some of those questions and also go into some tips and tricks on how to keep it running to the best of its ability and how to set some things up for speed because I'm a scalper, I'm all about speed and there's just a few things along the way that I've figured out how to make it a little bit more efficient and go into fixing the time and sales to be able to make it color coordinated so visually it looks pretty good. I use IBKR Pro as you can see right here. There is a light and there is a pro. The main difference is light is free commissions. They're trying to have that option for the people who want free commissions so they compete with some of the other brokers like Thinkorswim who have those free commissions if you want to take advantage of that. I don't know how the fills are there. I've never used the, the light. The only thing that I've used is the IBKR Pro. And with the Pro, you pay commissions. The commissions are very cheap. Interactive Brokers is known within the industry to have really cheap commissions. And I'm willing to pay commissions because the executions on the IBKR Pro are fantastic. I know I've talked about that numerous times. I have never had issues with their fills. They are some of the best that I've experienced and I've even used Lightspeed. So being able to compare that with Lightspeed and they are just as good. So that's the version that I use. And now to get into answering a question that I get a lot, what is the market data fees that you subscribe to? A lot of people have trouble trying to figure out what the right market data is. I spoke to an IB rep and they helped me. I told them exactly what I needed and they helped me subscribe to what I needed. Now I would always recommend contact IB, make sure you're subscribing to the right data, but just to show what I am subscribed to. So that way this can be a good reference. All of that right there. And I only pay $4.50 for market data and I get everything. If you watch some of my YouTube videos where I'm doing trade recaps, I have it all. I got the options chain, level two, time and sales, all real time data, stocks and options. And that is all I pay. So that's pretty amazing paying $4.50 a month for the market data, which is crazy cheap. So now to get into some of the tips and tricks. And the very first thing that you can do that I've actually noticed a bit of a difference because sometimes interactive brokers, just like a lot of other brokers can have the occasional glitch. Sometimes the candles get weird when you zoom in and out of the charts. And this is a change that I made that has fixed all of that. And I haven't experienced some of those same issues. And right off the bat, it's right at the login page. At the very bottom, more options. You open that window, the version. There are different versions. The one that I was running prior to changing it was latest. I changed it to stable and since I've put it on stable, I haven't had any of those same issues and it's been running fantastic. So I have personally noticed a difference. So I would recommend switching to stable and then see how that goes. Okay, and now we're in my actual platform. One of the biggest issues that I've experienced, I think many others do as well, is the time in sales. That time in sales does not look very clean. It has the little ticker dots to the left. I personally like when it's color coordinated and you can see the green and red prints and that's just a simple fix. So this is how it looks essentially out of the box when you just plug and play. And in order to fix that, all you have to do is go to file, global configuration, you go to open display, go to ticker row. And when you click on ticker row, uncheck the display tick dots instead of colored prices, uncheck it, Click apply, okay, and it'll change the colors. And just to confirm that you have everything set up correctly, you wanna go up to the settings in the top right of the time and sales window, click on that, click on settings, and then make sure this is checked, the show actual repetitive data instead of symbolic indicator. And once that's checked, click apply, okay, and now the time and sales will be clean. So it's color coordinated. You can see the different colors of the prints and visually it's just the way that I like it. And I'm sure plenty of other people like it like that as well. So that's that. So now it's running on the stable version. Got a nice clean time in sales. One of the additional things that I found to be pretty awesome just to, for speed because I'm scalping and I'm trading options. So what I want to do is I generally have an idea of what I'm going to trade prior to market open. And I have the levels of interest that I want to trade around. So instead of having to click a lot, switch the ticker, click on the certain strike that I'm interested in. Sometimes you flip flop a little bit. I miss an opportunity. What you can do is here is a watch list down here. Let's say I was interested in trading Apple off the open and I wanted to go long Apple at 115 and I want to be able to take that trade quick if needed. You can actually go into the options chain and you can drag the strikes into the watch list. 
So now rather than flip-flopping so much, you have the strike that you want to trade. And then when it sets up, it's just clicking on that strike, having it preloaded in the order entry window, and then being able to essentially just click buy. I have my setup all set up accordingly for speed, and I will link that up in the video above just to show my personal layout and how I have it configured because it took me a minute to get used to the Interactive Brokers platform. But now that I'm used to it, I have it set up the way that I like, and I'm able to execute quickly just based on how I have it set up and how I like it. And you can obviously put as many option contracts on this watch list as you want that you're interested in looking at. So if you're watching three, four, five different stocks on the day, you can have the contracts you're interested in trading. And then once again, just drag them and they're right there. And then instead of actually switching the entire options chain to the stock that you want to trade, you have that contract ready to go. And all you got to do is click on it and quickly execute the trade. So even though they're pretty simple, those were just some tips and tricks that I've noticed to be able to keep the platform running to the best of its ability and also set it up accordingly for fast executions. The TWS platform or the software takes a little bit to get used to, but just like anything else, once you get used to it, it's very easy to maneuver and navigate. I'm a huge fan of interactive brokers. I've been using them for over a year. I haven't had any issues. Their customer service is good. Their commissions are cheap. Their market data fees are cheap and their executions are fantastic. And they don't require a 25K minimum, like a lot of brokers. So for smaller cash accounts, I personally think Interactive Brokers is the best way to go. That's how I started. And then I slowly grew my account to over PDT. So I no longer have to worry about that issue. But for people who do, should really look into IB because I think it's a solid choice. So that's it. Just wanted to answer some of the questions that I get, show some tips and tricks, and my overall thoughts on IB. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.